All right, folks, Doyle King back with you again in San Diego, California with Fatal. And we got an interesting uh, thing that uh, Fatal came up with. Yeah, I was trying to play six other guys on this card, and guess what? I decided to put in a tornado tag match. And this seems to be really unusual because uh, it should be interesting how all of these two teams cooperate. Because that's going to be the key here to cooperate in this uh, ECW Rules Trios match. As we got GX3, Marcus King, and uh, Chaz on one side going against yeah I couldn't figure something out yeah I'm sorry we couldn't figure out something else out but you know what there's a nice there's a nice big prize on this at the end for the winning team I will guarantee you that much right now. And what a, what a bunch of says I tell you what, Carter Williams. You know what? He's got yeah, he's got some real uh, problems here. Because he does not only he's had it with Marcus, but he also had it with uh, Chaz. But look at it, he's tangled up with two other devious individuals. I don't know if Finley's gonna be too happy about this, but he has to deal with it. Well, I'm pretty sure Marcus likes his tag team partners. I mean, can't go wrong with Gus and Chaz. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Canada. Weighing in at 238 pounds. Marcus Hawk. Yeah, I want to doubt I mean, when you, you get an opportunity to take up with... Uh, couple of uh, superstars like GX3 and Chaz, uh, you know what? Your back, your back may be secure for sure. And that's what he's going to need when he's going against three devious individuals like Carter, RJ, and Finley. Tell, are you going to care to tell what the prize is for the winning team? Okay, since you uh, poked me to it, Doyle. All right, the winning team will get to wrestle in a triple threat match next Wednesday on Big Time Wrestling for a future world title shot. Wow. There's some big stuff right there. And from another time, weighing in. So that means we could see a triple threat next match next week between GX3, Chaz, and uh, Marcus King, or else we can see one between Carter, RJ, and Finley. Oh my gosh. It's going to be interesting because Marcus and Carter has problems. So does Marcus, and Marcus does like RJ, and Marcus does not like Finley. I know GX3 has had his runs in, run ins with uh, RJ, and uh, Chaz recently had his uh, run in with Carter Williams, but he does not like RJ also. So this gonna this is a lot of boiling pots ready to overflow. There's Chaz with that unique-looking gauntlet on his right arm. Yeah, definitely. 
That looks like something uh, what Boba Fett would wear from Star Wars Universe. Chaz is on. It's got to be one of uh, Star Wars' number one fans, no doubt about it. Let's call it what it is. He might have, who knows? He might have bought from Boba, too. I guess Chaz might have made him a deal he could not refuse. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you right much right now. And here comes the rebel, David Finley. Weighing in at 231 pounds, the rebel. David Finley, yeah. We just recently got his uh, contract reinstated because they found out was Triple H acting like him all the time. No wonder he had the uh, mask on. As much as I would love to apologize to David Finley, but you know he's got he's always got something up his sleeve. Oh yeah, definitely. There's no doubt about that. I'll say that much for sure. Here comes R.J. Lucas. Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 250 pounds. The future R.J. Lewis. So exciting. R.J. definitely, uh, one of those, yeah, you know what, the reason why, you know, the reason why Chaz is, uh, why, hates R.J., Oh, we know why. Because he's, uh, what is it? Because Chaz's daughter is going out with, uh, with, uh, Mr. Lucas. And we got a new follower here on, uh, Twitch right now, Weed and Son. Welcome, Weed and Son. Glad to have you on board. Enjoy the action. Enjoy the action. Definitely. And of course, yeah, uh, Taylor saying your daughter can do better. I agree. <laughs> that guy also won a War Games match earlier today with Gabe, Jake Lee, and Styles. And yeah. From Orlando, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Carter. And uh, Taylor saying, "Why, hey, he's it's Davey. Why, why should you apologize?" And here's another uh, scuzz bag. There's Carter Williams right there, folks. <laughs> Doing some super mega baseball four, nice.
But he's sending all the money, definitely. But that's how Carter Williams loves. He lives that flamboyant lifestyle, I guess, supposedly. And uh, he irks people the wrong way. <clears throat> Chaz going right in with Finley. As fin oh, man. And uh, we see Marcus going out with RJ while GX3 is taking Carter Williams down. Now Chaz decides to go outside and fight out with Finley. He's a wannabe million dollar man. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. They a wannabe horseman for sure too. No doubt about it. As long before DDoS he became a million dollar man. We all know that uh, horsemen always talk about uh, Party on Space Mountain, riding those limousines, and their stories about getting those luxurious cars. And right now, Philly just took down Marcus, his former uh, teammate in the Bullet Club. And now, look at Philly's going after Marcus now. Oh man, pump kick to the face. And now RJ is going to help him out. Oh, big time back suplex. And now GX3 going right after Carter Williams. Where will let him in? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. I'm talking about D.B. Aussie and Williams. And right now, Carter Williams trying to go for the pin on GX3. Couldn't get it. Williams, yeah. There's a lot of guys you see easily that could be horseman material from the 80s if it wasn't Flair, Blanchard, and Anderson now. A couple few other names you could probably put in there would be like Gino Hernandez. Would be one of them, definitely. Who knows, yeah, well, Mr. Perfect was a horseman. I wouldn't doubt Rev, she Rick Rue with that great. Oh, and Philly just smacked a GX3 hard with a forearm. And right now, RJ going right after Marcus. Carter's got Chaz, I guess. I don't know what I don't know what Carter's problem with Chaz is. I have no idea. We see him attack him last week at all, oh, man. They're trying to turn that poor kid inside out. And Chaz just got pinned. Chad, uh, Finley, Carter, and RJ will be wrestling next week in a triple threat match to decide who gets a shot at next shot at the world title. Oh my gosh. Maybe Moxley would. He'd be on the, He'd be like that Arn Anderson role. And Marcus is not too happy because he's had damn it, Chaz. Oh man. Poor Marcus. He seems like he's trying to find his way, and right now, he seems to be a man in limbo. Yeah, it's like he's fine. Yeah, it's like uh, he's having his problems, definitely. Coming up next, Blood Oath against Miami Gold. This is a rematch from Superstars because Blood Oath won it by countout, so these girls are going to go at it again. And they're saying that Chaz could have done better. I, I, you know what? Possibly, but Carter Williams... We nailed him with that Canadian Destroyer doubt. You know, most of the time, that's it. Yeah, everything gets rocked in your body when you uh, get attacked with that Canadian Destroyer. Unfortunately, Chaz was the one. He got pinned, and now he's not really uh, favorable. Carter Williams seems like he has Chaz's number, and that's scary.
Let's get to rain right now as we're ready to get Blood Oath against Miami Gold going. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the World Women's Television. This should be a good one. I know, um, uh, yeah, Blood Oath won uh, by Cal in their first matchup, and, uh, well. Now we're going to have them um, uh, go at it again this time. ECW rules. That means no counts, no disqualifications. Pinfalls can count anywhere. There's blood off right there. Oh, it looks like all soaked in blood. Good God Almighty. And here comes Miami Gold coming to the ring. Now Iron Terror says that Chaz needs to hang up the boots. Oh my. Ooh. Oh man, ouch. Damn. Introducing the challenger from every man's nightmare. Wow. Hang up the boots. Here we go, folks. Blood Oath against Miami Gold.
right now we watch as uh <laughs> Miami Colts taking a blood off right now in this matchup. Gold having a little bit of trouble here. As, oh man, gets hammered in the back by Blood Oak, the challenger. We're going to see if she can get that title off of uh, Miami Gold. And here we go. Yeah. Now Miami Gold, I mean, uh, Blood Oak, yeah, has the whole titles in this area. Miami Gold, I think she's been a women's tag team champ, a women's world champ. And also try American champ and team champ. She's done just about well. I think she might even held the Queen of Wasteland. Yeah, Miami Gold has done everything pretty well, uh, really well in this, really well in this wrestling. She's also been champion in, don't forget the, uh, yeah, the area she originally came from, which was uh, Shockwave Wrestling. That's where she started out at, and uh, she has made herself to one hell of an athlete. Right now, oh man, Miami Gold going for the pin. And she gets the win. So she, uh, yeah, right there, Miami Gold proves it that uh, that Cal out win was nothing but a fluke. Here is your winner. And still, Congratulations there, Miami Gold. Champion, May Amy Coming up next, Luther against Reverend Morbid. Try American title on the line. And uh, what is it? We got Sasha Stone in the back with the champion, Reverend Morbid. Hello, Reverend Morbid. Uh, congratulations on your title reign here so far. I mean, basically, uh, you have been doing well. I guess it must be the jacket. <laughs> Rub and roll, baby. I'll tell you that much right now. You know, the the good Reverend has uh, held on to this title through tough matches and everything else. I'm, I'll say this much right now. I beat the Bomber. I beat Tony Cross. Two great, tough competitors. I got another one on hand here. Luther, I mean, and he deserved it after winning that Battle Royal. I'll tell you what. Best of luck to you, my friend. And Fatal, don't worry. I'll get you a jacket just like this. How you doing, Devin? Devin, the bandit in the house here right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Tri-State Heritage Heavyweight Championship. Hey, what is going on? Yeah. All my, uh, all my uh, familiars coming in here watching this, which is, I greatly appreciate everybody. 
Devin had a match earlier in an eight-man match for a similar wasteland tell, and unfortunately, he came up a little short because Evo got pinned by uh, Bratnell Bomber, and now which makes Bratnell Bomber a uh, four-time similar wasteland champion. Marcus saying that the pay review for his uh, for MUOW will be appear will be happening after this is over with. Oh, wait a minute. I just think I heard just something in the back here, folks. Devin and the bomb of Brian Obama going out in the back. Oh, my gosh, man. Yeah, of course, Devin the Bandit, he's been aiming for Brian Obama throughout the whole match. And I guess Bomber did not care for that one, so the Summer Wasteland champion has come aiming for uh, Devin. Oh, man. We're hearing that tables are getting flipped all over the place. Chairs are being slammed. People getting slammed against the wall. Between these two monsters. Security's trying to break up, but to no avail. And oh man, one of them just went through the glass, went, went through the glass window in the office. In the parking lot. Oh my gosh, man. Devin's now got a fire extinguisher in the back end. Oh, man, he just hit Bomber right square in the head with it. Oh, man. Oh, he's seen more than stars, Doyle. I might have to sign up a match against these guys next week. Oh, man, that would be something. Devin the Bandit versus the Bomber for the uh, Simo Wasteland title? Yeah, that. you know what? I, I'm liking that. I'm seriously liking that. And now uh, Bomber's got a big wrench, and he just hit uh, Devin right in the ribs with it. Oh, man. And Iron Taylor saying, you look, uh, you look terrible, and Devin tells Taylor to get the hell out of his way, as uh, now he grabs Bomber again. After getting hit in the ribs with that wrench, and... Uh, Throws a, throws a, oh man, he threw a bomber against somebody's car. I think that was Carter Williams. Ooh, Devin and Gabriel, Gabriel Kidd for a little bullet, a bullet Club members going at it in a match at the pay-per-view. Wow, oh man. Security man should break it up, man. I guess now they finally got some uh, some of Phil Rosters to break it up on there again. And uh, so if you tell what's your word on that. Yeah, you know what? Sounds like a good idea. They're gonna have Devin Devin the band to take on the Brad Obama next week for the Summer Wasteland title.
This is, this is going to be a heck of a highlight for Luther. He's going to beat uh, Reverend Morbid for this title. I mean, Reverend Morbid uh, went against two tough hombres, and he still beat him. Oh, wait a minute. Did I hear Iron Toe say you want to join the BB Club? Is that the... Is that the, oh, what is that, is that the, uh, the Bullet Club? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Could you imagine an Iron Toe in that group? Man, a lie. It'd be like a CTL reunion in the, uh, Bullet Club, basically. Because you already got Styles and uh, Devin in that group, and they're both uh, from the CTL area. No, wait a minute. Uh, oh, man. I guess uh, Captain Oz. No, Iron Terror says no, the Bullet Club can have Blaze. Oh, my gosh. That would be calling for real desperation if they ever put Blaze in the group. Yeah. You have to be really desperate to have Blaze in the group because the way that you see how Blaze uh, tapped out to Sanders tonight to, uh, and he lost the AEW tag team tells that weren't even his. I'll put it that way. If anything was bad out of that whole thing. You need help CTL take out Clifford? Yeah, please do. That pink-headed freak. <laughs> Clifford and Bullet Club, that'd be hilarious. I mean, Clifford with anybody here in uh, Must See Russell would be hilarious. Could you imagine Clifford Welcher and uh, MSW or also... Uh, Ken Chrysler, for that matter, who keeps calling himself the greatest announcer in the world. I don't know, I tend to disagree with that. And Luther, a big time headbutt to uh, Morbid's head. Yeah, that's the problem with it. Ken Chrysler does complain too much. No, he doesn't like it. He needs to put on the tights and clean it up himself sometimes. That's what you need to do. Oh, man. Kicks at the leg of Luther and brings him down quickly. Why is that DDT? Bullet Club's leader doesn't like uh, him. Uh, doesn't like him, so I guess Davy is afraid I'll take over. I won't blame you. He still hasn't won the IWGP title yet. I think that's the biggest quirk he's got on him right now. Every Bullet Club leader has won the uh, IWGP title. If you're a leader, you gotta win that main world championship. And more of it gets the victory. Wow. With the future shock DDT. Wow. Here is your winner. And still try state. And David just said I'm not afraid. Uh oh. What the heck? Yeah, Devin never won the uh yeah, he never won. Yeah, never won the IG. Oh man, those are two guys that never did it. Wow. Yeah. We'll put it that way, too. And, of course, Taylor made a good point. He says that Devin and Brandon are smart. They don't fit in that group. Oh, man. Good point. I mean, definitely. But uh, they see a lot of power in that group. I, I can't figure it out myself, but maybe one of these days we might.
Well, coming up next here, folks, we got, uh... The, uh, tri uh the, uh... X Division title. Iron Terrorist Manhattan is an el another element to this group, I mean, because of, uh... Fatal wanted Adam somewhere. You know, I felt... I felt like, and, and of course, Evil cried, so that's the reason why I had him and Narita to sim a wasteland town, they... Both that did not do well. You're not in this match card. You were in the card earlier in part one, Devin. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. I do apologize. Yeah. But next week, you will get a match. I guess Fatal has signed it. It will be Devin the Bandit versus the Bratnell Bomber for the Simul Wasteland title. So mark that on your calendars, folks. Coming up in Los Angeles next week. As I think this, uh, yeah, this Sunday will be in Fresno. I think this is a triple threat match. Uh, one pinfall wins it all. So it's going to make it hard to get a pinfall here because that one pinfall ends it all and that means whoever scores that pinfall is your X-Division champion. Yes, we are. We're, we're doing to come to Fresno, definitely. So far in this California tour, we've been, I guess we call it the California Dreaming Tour. We call it We've been in San Fran. We've been in Bakersfield. Tonight we're in San Diego. Fresno. Uh, next week, next Wednesday will be Los Angeles. I think San Jose might be on the list. I mean, uh, there's a few cities that's on that list. Introducing the challenger from Jerusalem, Israel, weighing in at 235 pounds, Tony. Yeah, Devin was on the card earlier. Like I say, he came up short in that eight-man match, but it's hard to do when you're uh, you you got you fight everybody off. You got you got to be you got to be the one that scores that pinfall. But nonetheless, uh, since what happened in that backstage between Devin and a bomber, they are going to be officially. Uh, Wrestling for that similar Wasteland title next week in Los Angeles, so prepare for that one. Why is Brandon in this match and not Davey? Brandon's the defending champion. That's the reason why. Yeah. Brandon's the uh, defending champion. Uh, David Finley's got his own uh, appointment next uh, Wednesday. As uh, it'll be him, Carter Williams, and R.J. Lucas in a triple threat match, side for a future world title and shot. The champion. That's because they won that six-man match tonight against GXP, Marcus, and uh, Chaz. The Lucha Hardcore Hybrid Champion, Brandon Styles. And of course, we know the 2K weirdness. If it's a triple threat or four-way match, forget it. Nobody's not allowed to have a manager. Divide and conquer, I get it. That's uh yeah. The the divide and conquer, I get it. I mean that's how uh famous war factions uh conquer the land for quite a while and uh definitely that's what these guys are doing right now tonight. Brandon's got an opportunity to retain the title. So is Gabriel Kidd and also York Bros got an opportunity to re regain the uh, tag team titles if they're able to.
Yeah, the Churros belt is a nice looking belt. I'll admit that much right now that uh, we got here in MSW. They did another great job with it. <coughs> what happens is Brandon loses his belt number one. The new champion would have to start over again and see if he can get a title defense in area belt so he can cash in for a world title shot. And number two, the Bullet Club would be a little stat uh, will be a little weakened at the moment, title wise. That's what it would happen, it seems like. And Iron Taylor and Tony Cross could have got, got a good opportunity to knock it off Brandon Styles, see if they can get that pinfall. I mean Brandon Styles does not even have to be pinned. That's the scary thing about it. And, and Iron Taylor saying, I bet Davey turns on him. I wouldn't doubt it. Who knows? But he's not going to tell us that. Iron Taylor going right after Tony Cross here. This is kind of like divide and conquer. You was it? Everybody's got to understand. This is kind of like a divide and conquer match. But of course, you gotta keep your hand. You gotta keep your eyes on both competitors when you're in this matchup. And David Finley says, if he loses, I won't turn on him. Well, I guess there's a word from uh, David Finley. I guess. Oh man. Beautiful counter by Taylor as he put both knees in the back of uh, Tony Cross as he was going to go for that senton. And Taylor trying to doubt the words of David Finley. <laughs> Can I get that writing? Oh <laughs> my gosh. Oh man. That's funny. And Cross taking down Styles, but he gets taken down by himself by Taylor. And right now, I'll hurt Karan, and I'll be right back. I'm going to use the silver screen. Right now, Tony Cross in trouble. Styles is a little bit dizzy, but Styles is getting back into it. And oh man, slingshot DDT by uh, Landon Styles. And now Cross gets knocked down by Taylor after he knocks down Styles. And like I said, this is back and forth matchup. Nobody's not going to have the advantage for long. David Finley, and I, okay, and David Finley says, here, you can get this, and flips off the bird, and uh, I guess uh, Captain Austin tells us, like, well, didn't you and Mommy tell us it's not, not, not nice to flip people off? And, he, and David Finley says, who cares? You know, I think these matches could be unfair to the champion at the moment, but it's just the determination to see how uh, far you're going you're gonna to go to get to, you're gonna retain your title. And now Blaze just flipped off everybody in the back. He's got an endless supply of them, it looks like. What do you call it? The middle finger bird? Yeah, I think that's what they call it. I think I seen it in Encyclopedia at one time. You see it in Encyclopedia one time, Joe. Wow. And Iron Taylor said, I can't wait to see what Davey 
does or if his worst enemy wins. And Blaze is saying, I can beat all three of these guys. We'll see, man. Oh, man. Another Canadian destroyer. That has been a... That has been a heck of a move that ended a lot of matches here tonight, I can tell you that much. Let's call it what it is. That's what I ended Chaz tonight was a Canadian destroyer by uh, Carter Williams. And David Phillips says, my worst enemy isn't in his company. Ooh, I wonder who is his worst enemy. Yeah, please refresh us on that if you want to, Dave. I'm not going to sit there and say, uh, do it. I'm just going to say, uh, if you want to. Your worst enemy's playing too busy playing. Oh, man, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I know who they're talking about. Tama Tonga. Oh, wait a minute, Taylor. Oh. Taylor with the pen on Styles. Here we go. Oh, man. Now, Blaze just moved somebody, and the kid just sent him with a cow prod. He must have Blaze it. Oh, jeez. Blaze, you know what? You do that one more time. I'm throwing you out of the arena. Let me let me uh, forewarn you on that. You deserve it, Blaze. I'm not even gonna go in detail what you uh. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go in detail what you did. You're 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 getting very no. You're getting very awful, Blaze. Oh man, right there, bam. Boy, Styles did he stun cross with that hurt Karana on the thing. David Philly says Tama Tonga doesn't have a title right now, and he's too busy being a solo slap dog. You do have a point, yeah, definitely two true points. Yeah, indeed, I'll say that much right now. What a shot there by, oh, what a shot there by uh, Cross as he just booted Styles in the face. He only has to tell us so is Iron Taylor. Yeah, he's one third of the trios champs with uh, Sanders and Crichton. You know that much at least. Taylor going for the pin again. Oh man, uh, Cross was too busy uh, taunting there. I, what would have happened if you scored three and Cross was too busy taunting? Cross would have been kicking himself in the butt big time tonight. David Finley says, well, I'm leading the best club in wrestling, holding the, holding the IWGP Global Heavyweight title. Oh man, right? Oh man, Taylor just got rocked. Reverse her Karana by Styles. Oh look at that, Styles reversing it. And he gets kicked in the back for his uh, and uh, 
And Taylor says, big deal, you need the bullet club. Uh-oh, and again. Oh, pile driver on cross now. Going for the pin. Nah. Stell says, nah, uh -uh, not today. Going for a pin and it's Cross. And Cross grabs the pin. Wow, 20 Cross is running an X Division title, folks. Here is your winner. And new. And Styles was not involved in the decision. champion, Tony Cross. Wow. I'm pretty sure we'll see a Styles Cross rematch down the road. Oh man, big upset right there. Well, congratulations to Tony Cross. Coming up next, Akira versus Sarah Perry. Women's Championship on the line, and we already know the Hardcore Alliance is gonna get the next women's tag team tell shot down the road against Bougie and Bad. And Taylor saying, hey, Davey, guess what? Styles lost his championship. Yeah, he sure did. But he wasn't pinned. But that's the unfortunate thing about triple threat match. And there's a lot of words uh, thrown around in the pack right now. I guess uh, I heard Terry saying he, he would like a championship, uh, would like a match between him and uh, Tony. And now we got Finley saying, so you basically gave up and let him pin you. And he says, no, I didn't let him get the pin on me. David's like, David's like so what, Taylor? So what, Taylor? He had a good reign. David Finley says the real Iron Taylor would have kicked out. Wow. Mm. Let's go to the ring right now as we got this one going. Now Taylor's coming up with, I let him beat me because I, cause I didn't want to see you guys lose and I didn't want to embarrass Styles by pinning him. Oh man. Here comes Akira back out here again after winning that battle royal to earn that women's title shot for tonight. David Finley was like, oh, I see it now how the Tyler, Iron Taylor would rather give up or uh, give, give, would give him, uh, would rather give him like a coward. Ta would rather give him, yeah, Taylor's a coward, that's what he's saying. Oh, man. <laughs> what the heck? You know what, I got a great idea for Sunday for Superstars. How about this? Big time matchup. How about this? Iron Taylor and Tony Cross will tag up against David Finley and Brandon Styles. If Tony Cross and Iron Taylor win, Iron Taylor gets his match. If Brandon Styles and uh, 
David Finley win. Brandon Sp Styles gets his match. Wow, that sounds good, Fatal. That sounds very good. And now, uh, Taylor said, wow, Davey, big words. And uh, Finley says, so what, you really saying that you rather give up like, like, like a loser than actually win for once? Oh, man. Tony says, I don't like people who give out the free wins. Oh, man, Finley has thrown a wrench in this thing. Even if uh, Taylor... I, I, I could have swore I seen Taylor get one hell of an effort. Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan. And Taylor says I don't need any more titles right now. Oh wow. And her opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, the women's world champion, Sarah Perry. Sarah Perry, all that. More, we got two more matches after this, so uh, and now Finley's now teasing Taylor about saying that I wonder why you're too busy laying down for others. Oh man, going for the pin is uh, Kara already going over a pretty good pendulum backbreaker. I think it's going to, uh... Thank you. Finally. All right. Get back to the match now. Thank goodness. And Davidson, don't let me get my dad to attack you. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Taylor's asking for something insane. Hey, Fatal, I know what would make that tag match crazier if you team me up with Davey. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Fatal just decided to make it a wild card match. Tony Cross and Brandon Styles going against Iron Taylor and David Finley. Oh, man. You just heard right there, folks. It's going to be a wild card tag team match. You're going to have two tag teams that have people that don't like each other. Styles, Styles is going to be teaming up with the guy that beat him for the title. Didn't pin him, but beat him. And uh, Tony Cross going against... Uh, 
Moral enemies and Finley and Taylor. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's just insane. Oh my gosh. That's that's gonna be hilarious. Thank you, Taylor, for giving me the idea, sir. I hope uh I hope if you're on the losing end of it, I hope you don't take it out. I hope you don't get mad at me. Well, Finley says he is a legend. If he is a legend, I guess he's going to win, win anybody. Even your own enemy. And now Finley's saying, if you lose, it's your fault. And uh, Taylor says, no, I'm not. No, uh, no, it uh, was it? Not at all, Fatal. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, man. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm even going to make an ECW rolls. There you go. Let you keep eyes in 360 degree angles if you can do that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And now, uh, looks like Sir wants to play with the tables. No, maybe not. Oh, wait a minute. Look, smart move by Perry. She wanted some more action outside the ring. And she broke up the count by walking out. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Did she just roll Kira in the corner? Are you kidding me? Referee did not... You know what the funny thing about What the hell? The referee did not disqualify her? I guess she's going to let it go because uh, it will lose the Kira's chance of uh, winning the title. All right, I guess I can understand it. Wow. Can we say, no, it'd be your fault. You're the one that came up with the joke of an idea because that's what you are, a joke. It's like, this is your fault, Taylor. Come on, Styles, we're leaving with the Alvers. Oh, bad moon. Oh, my gosh, man. And that's it. Perry has won again. Perry says, no, we are not leaving. I am, I want to break this man's face with my knees. Oh, man. We we got some going on. That, we, got, we, got, we got some words going on in the back. Oh, my gosh, man. Coming up next, triple threat action. It has one pinfall wins it all. The Yorks taking on Hell's End, take on Yurohara and Mini. Here we go. And uh, Price and Corey come up to Taylor because I guess Taylor asked for them. And wait a minute, Price and Corey stand right beside Taylor. Yeah, Taylor, what do you want? What you need, my friend? Oh man, all three draw. Oh man, the draw. Oh man, Devin Styles. Devin Styles have. Uh, wow. 
Wow, uh, Devin, Devin Stiles, uh, long size Philly, has drilled all three of one pipes. And now Philly, they're just telling, uh, telling Devin and Stiles to get the old man up. Oh, man. Oh, this is not going to be good for Taylor. Oh, Taylor low blows Dave Finley. Oh, man. What? What did Finley say? Not today. And oh boy, here we go. Oh man, now Taylor Lowe blows him again. This time it's gonna have to count because of the cop. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And is for the Miz World Tag Team. Finley hits Taylor's arm with the shillelagh, but Mass Man has come up behind Finley and grabs him and says, Oh, David, we're not done yet. Oh, no. Okay, the chaos going here. Gunther, Gunther just hit kid with, a, kid with a forearm as he was grabbing the masked man from behind. And now, uh, oh, geez, Billy Paul just hit a uh, hit kid with the briefcase. Finley with the briefcase as Demon Styles are still going at Creighton and Sanders. Oh man. Chaos is going on the back again. Security, go back there and uh, take care of them. And right now we got six man chaos going on there while uh, the tower is calling for security. And Philly, stomp and Philly stomps his way and breaks through a locker room door. Trevor Johnson taking down the meeting while Alex uh, Brimstone has. And Alex is still going to wrestle with those sunglasses. Oh my gosh, man. Well, a lot has happened. There's been a lot of tell. Uh, was it? I, was it Tony Cross's new X Division champion? Let me go retain her TV title. Uh, Kurt Williams, RJ Lucas, and uh, David Finley won a uh, wild card six man match against Chaz. Uh, GX3 and Marcus. Reverend Morgan retain his Tri American title.
Now Devin throws a chair at Sanders. Oh my gosh, man. This is getting uh, out of hand here. The masked man seems like he ran away from the back as uh, he disappeared as quickly as he was out there. Spits blood at Taylor. Oh man. Now it's getting really uh Stars throws Corey with a chair. I mean no, dang. I have no idea, man. It's a little dangerous. He thinks it's macho man or I remember two guys that used to do, well, three guys. Mr. Hughes used to do that on a regular occasion, and uh, he learned a lesson to that one for a while. Then, of course, you had uh, Macho Man do it once, and so they caught a lot of power. Maybe Devin chases Sanders and tells Ted, you want to practice on this guy before your match? Now Billy smacks Ken again with the briefcase. Oh man, what condition is a uh, Abel kid gonna be in? He just got hit twice with the briefcase. Like Billy, stop. Oh man. Abel Kid saying, hey Billy, how about you actually use that case like a man and not like Blaze? Billy says, sure thing, he dropped Gable with the case one, he dropped Gable one more time with the case, and now Polly tries to What is going on here, man? And right now we got chaos in the ring we haven't been, we haven't been able to pay attention to because uh, of everything going on here, and uh, oh man, I'll tell you what. Security's back there to break it up. And right now we got uh, Mayhem just going on the ring with, with three of the best tag teams. Now Stell throws Corey to a window. And now Sanders has just smoked, smacked both Devin and uh, Styles with a chair. And Matthew says, you know what, I'm staying out because this is none of my business. Yeah, you know what, I don't blame you, Devin. I, I mean, I don't blame you, Matt. And 
continue going out with Finley. Yeah, and uh, I mean, holy cow. Now Sanders is saying, bring it on, big dog being stupid. Oh my gosh. Did he just call Devin a band of that? You know Sanders has no fear. Yeah, Duffy, he may take a beating, but he has no fear. Gosh, man, we got chaos in the ring, we got chaos in the back. And now Devin just hit him with something, but now from behind the bomb, Brian Obama comes out of nowhere and hits uh, Devin with a chain. Patel's calling up on the phone. She's like, come on, guys, break this up. I don't want to call in San Diego police. Matthew's like, can I buy a ticket so you know, I don't have to be back here with this journey? Oh, definitely. There's some free seats over there by the commentating area if you want to watch. No problem. There is a, there is a TV room area. Definitely. I guess he's got a right to call him children. I mean, good and bad, you call him children. And Dylan's like, oh, what the bleep was that? That was a chain getting hit right on your back by Bomber. And now Stelz is attacking Bomber. Tackles Tony Cross now. Where's a ref? <laughs> I don't think the X Division uh, rules work like that, man. If it was 24 7, yeah. I'm glad world titles are not based on 24 7 rules. Oh, God, would you imagine? Oh boy, a referee guy has come, a, a ref, someone in a ref outfit has come out and now, what the heck? There's an actual referee in the back? Ref has Kelly three. Now could you imagine if the world title was based on 24-7 rules? We have, we have more than a, a world champion per day. And the referee holds up Taylor's hand, oh man. Is he declaring, is he saying that Taylor's just won the X Division title in the back? Now Matthew said, can I take a spot or offer? I wish I could, man. Um, definitely, if Patel has had a little weariness about having people as special loves because what happened the last time with uh, Michael Blaze cheating uh, Chris Battle the title. The ref is saying, you're new champion. Then the ref blows, up, blows Taylor. What the heck? And now uh, Taylor's saying he has a real... Oh, man, it's Togo. What the hell? There's bodies all over the place. Uh, Devin's, uh, Devin, Devin says he had to get a med. They said to get him a medic, and right now the medics are checking out Devin. And now the rest of the House of Torture jumps up on Taylor 6 and 1. 
Now, and Matt's like, you want me to go back there and split them up? And Fatal's like, it would be nice, but no, I don't want you risking your, I don't want to risk, I don't want you risking injury and you get a free TV title shot. And this has been a hell of a match up here too tonight. Wow. Six man mayhem. Three teams going at it for the uh, one of the prestigious titles of tag team wrestling. Oh, there's that swing cutter again. And once again, Jamie York, Brandon says may have lost the X Division title, but the York brothers have returned back a title to the Bullet Club. Oh my gosh. Oh, because Trevor Johnson did not pay attention. He decided to go outside. He should have stayed in there uh, in case there was a pinfall made. Wow. But tell us like that, that we're going to have nobody at ringside for the world title match, okay? Nobody. Matthew goes backstage and he tells uh, everybody to stop acting like children, you guys. And uh, you guys are full-grown adults. I don't know if that's going to help anybody. Worth a try, Matt. Worth a try. Come up next. Grit against Gabriel Kidd. The MSW world title on the line. Evil saying, hey, Matt. Oh, no. It's grabbed the attention of Evil now. Devin low blow styles all nowhere. He runs off saying, screw you and the dogs. Oh, my gosh. Devin has a, wow. I don't believe that. Wow. Who ever thought that would happen? My goodness, man. Evil says, bye, loser, Devin. Stell says, joke's on you. I have a cup. Everybody's got a cup. Wow. Everybody's trying to play it smart, at least. Matthew saying, who's there? Huh? Who's there? Evil saying, me, Matt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the world Heavyweight Championship! Better be careful, Matt. Evil. Better be careful. Tread your steps carefully, sir. Because the beast of Bray himself grit. Devin's like, you, you all know this. It was a game. I'm trying to get all yours is trust so I could stab you all in the back. Oh man. Matthew's saying, why are you after me now, evil? Shows like how does that how's that help in your record? I'm not at and evil says I am not after you. I have win it. Oh wow, here we go, folks. And now I got the champion, Gabriel Kidd, come out. This might be one of Gabriel Kidd's toughest challenges. I know we said that before about the other people he's gone against, but Gabriel Kidd's done a hell of a job uh retaining the MSW talent. Even if you're not a fan of his. Nobody cares. They, 
David's like, that's all, that's how you do. No good Joe face Bray Wyatt wannabe who has no friends. Now, if you're saying, oh, okay, evil, but why uh, are you hiding in the shadows? Evil says that's because of what House of Torture does. Yeah, he's starting to learn what House of Torture does, definitely. Be careful. Become the biggest guy of the all time, so how about you give me a chance and stick to his hands out? Oh man. Devin wants to join the House of Torture now? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh man, this would be a hell of a giant to have in their group. He would definitely be an upgrade from Jack Perry. Evil says F no. Oh man. And now show hits work. And now, uh, show hits, uh, Evil now says, oh, um, no. Show hits Devin now with a wrench. Oh, man. Grit chopping away on, uh, Gabriel Kidd. Like I said, uh, I think Grit could be one of the toughest challenges for Gabriel Kidd if he's not careful. And Evil, what do you think about me? He puts his hand out. Oh, wait a minute, Plum is here, wow. Oh my God, we got Plum is in Rusty Wrestling, holy cow. You gotta be kidding. Ah, uh, this is very historic. Now Taylor grabs the wrench and smacks Evil and Show. And of course Taylor knows Devin and Plum. Now Gabriel Kid got caught in trouble here by uh, Grit. Oh, Grit nailing away. And now taking that arm and trying to. Rip it apart there in the room. And now Yoshinobu sprays whiskey at Taylor. And now Fatel says, get out or you're all fired. Oh man. I don't think she's not gonna fire him. She's just angry right now that uh they're all acting like children back there, I guess. Like Matthew said. Evil just told Fatal to take a hike. Show says, hey Fatal, nobody asked. Well, it is her, uh, yeah. Matthew says, uh, Fatal just trying to make peace and, uh, Fatal says, it's okay, don't worry, don't worry. We'll see how much those briefcase shots to uh, Gabe's uh, back and head uh, are going to take on him if he loses his title tonight. I'm all over here doing commentary by myself right now. Oh, wait a minute. Big time Billy Paul doing out there. What are you doing? Well, tell Lewis, well since when did you grow a uh, AC uh, bone for Tal? Oh, he's dead. It's like I, I let you have so many, so much leeway. I, I look, I look for everybody to have leeway, and then when enough is enough, that's it. Yeah, you stay out, Matt. I mean, that's a. Uh, I mean, no, I just don't want you getting hurt for your uh, big opportunity Sunday.
And right now, meanwhile in the ring, oh, great with a bison. Sure says, don't worry, the bone is as small as her husband. You know, Mattel's like, you shop show. And now Devin has a main alliance with Taylor now. Wow. No, I am gonna sign. I am gonna sign. Uh, you want Plum? You want a contract? Fine. We're gonna give you a contract, Plum. Congratulations. Welcome to Must See Wrestling. Oh, I seen him wrestle before, believe me. I seen him hold the Universal title in WTF and everything. I mean, no doubt. And right now, Gabriel Kidd. Oh, Brett catches him off guard as he just climbed up rope like a cat and hit him with a cross. Plum says, thanks, guys. You won't regret it. Plum has already impressed me. I gotta say that much right now because I heard his reputation definitely. I can't fire Blaze right now. He's got the couple's tag team tell with Sunshine. They should call him Team Catalog Model. TCM. Right now, Grit and Chuck. Oh! Nasty brain buster by the champion on Grit. Going for the pin. No, two count only. What are you doing here, Billy? I may cash this briefcase in against one of these chumps. That one that looks really familiar. Did I smack him silly in a briefcase a few times? Yeah, I see the dents. And if he loses, you most likely you can be the one that could be getting credit for helping him out. I wasn't trying to. Devin says, Roddy, we need a tag name. Blaze says, ew, a guy who thinks he's a scary uh, piece of, oh man. The Revolution? And, Mike, and Matthew says, Blaze, shut up. So, so they're called Revolution now. Devin Plum and uh, looks like Iron Taylor. Oh, and Grit set it up. Uh-oh. x -Plex. Oh, gosh. And that was right on that uh, the hardened floor. He, there's padding there, but how much protection there's with that padding? Okay, you guys are going to be called the Revolution then. Uh, we're going to, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to try to see, like I said, I'm going to see what's, how many room I got in the roster. I wouldn't mind not bringing a lot of guys. I might have to do a revolving door, but uh, yeah, definitely. Keep, keep the, well, I, I guess the ones who've got guaranteed spots would be the champs. If I was great, I'd be attacking. I'd continue attacking Dave. Definitely, because you give this guy any, you give this guy any chance, uh, you could be in trouble. I agree with that one, there, uh, Marcus. He's not kidding. Someone from CTO. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll check him out, man. Definitely, we'll see what I could do.
Now maybe I could, I could, I could fit, I could fit some in. Who knows? Like I said, let me just check out the roster. That's one thing I, I gotta say. That's two case weakness. They don't work on extending the uh, Corey Russell roster. That you gotta use a few spots as revolving door. Like I said, the only ones that got legit spots in here is the champs right now. With some long stays. And that's it, Gabriel Kidd continues to win the man, win the keep on winning. Here is your winner, and still world heavyweight champion. Gabriel Kidd. Wow, unbelievable there, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. Gabriel Kidd keeps uh and now Gabriel Kidd saying, uh, and now Taylor says he wants to see Sasha get a wrestling outfit. Wow. Take on Blaze and Daphne. Maybe, uh, oh man, maybe she's up to it. Maybe I'll sign it. Tracy Torment said she'd be glad to team up with you too, if you, you know. And now Gabriel Kidd says, give me the microphone. Okay, we gotta hear what Blaze has got. I mean, what uh, the Gabriel Kidd's got to say. Yeah, you know, I could always use some females. Gay Kid. Billy, Gay Kid saying, uh, right now we're hearing that right there. Billy Paul, I dare you, double dare you, fat man, to cash in that money in the bank against me because I will beat you down again. Wait a second, uh-oh. Hold on here, hold hold the fort real quick. Hold
fort real quick. Hold on here a second, folks. Yeah, Billy Paul's coming down with the briefcase, and look who he's got with him. Malachi Abramoff. What is going on here? Oh, come on. And now Malachi's laughing. He's saying, oh, what an idiot. You know, let me say something right now, comrade. Comrade Taylor. You thought you grabbed the briefcase. Don't you realize there's other duplicates around in that briefcase? What, what is going on? Oh, this is not good. And I forgot to shut the entrance off in this one because the way the money... Friggin' money in the bank conditions work. I don't think they even fixed anything on this new uh, patch. What the heck is going on here? Billy Paul is cashing it in. I think he's a little impatient, but you know what? This might be the opportunity because... Gabriel Kidd said, who cares? I can beat him. I hope so, Gabriel. Introducing the challenger from New York. Oh my gosh, man. Matthew is holding a briefcase and uh, he opens it up. There's only a brick in it. Is that the one that Malachi had planned for Taylor? And now, uh oh. Remember, uh, Billy Paul was very aggressive against the whammy uh, earlier in this broadcast to win this briefcase. And Kenta Kobashi now come at ringside to watch the match very closely. Oh, man. Nasty knee drop across the head. Oh, man, right there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, of course, he's taking advantage of uh, probably a tired Gabriel Kidd because Brick Gabe ran him through the mill, but we'll see how much energy Gabriel Kidd still got in him. Yeah, like I said, I guarantee you this is the last match tonight. We have nothing else scheduled. That this came up unexpectedly because I guess Gabriel Kidd wanted it. Oh man, right in a bread basket, uh, Billy Paul goes down. And there's a red cord forearm. Uh, contract's already been cashed in, so it's like uh, Billy. Billy, it's been legit. You don't even need a cat. Sometimes you don't even need a contract. You just need a briefcase and know who the holder is right now. Yeah. Well, it's officially cashed in now. Yeah, definitely. The match is happening right now, so... She's saying Taylor let it happen. <laughs> and Devin the, Devin, Devin the Bandit attacks. He's uh, they're attacking the war dogs in the back. Wow. Now, uh, 
Oh man. Oh. Oh man, a Gabriel Kid hits him the clothesline first and now going for the pin. But look at that. Just because they took the turnbuckle off, that's gonna delay time from getting the pin made. Oh, and Billy Paul gets piled drived again. Or I should say he gets piled drived the first time in this matchup, and Gabriel Kidd wins. Wow. Here is your winner, and still world heavyweight champion. You don't need to know to. Yeah. What the heck did he say? Wow. MSW saying, oh, Devin Styles left an hour ago, now, and that De that Styles was different. Wow. And now Gabriel Kidd says, give me my damn titles. He retained it twice tonight. Wow, I'll tell you what. What a show. I guess next week we'll have another Money in the Bank matchup. Who knows what that, that's going to turn out to be. So... Thank you all for coming here tonight for Fatal. I am, uh... Yeah, Malachi's plan backfired. Well, here we go, folks. I'll tell you what, then. Uh, thank you all for coming here. Like I said, uh... For, uh... Patel, I am Doyle King. I'll see you all next week. Take care, everybody. See you Sunday in Fresno for Superstars. Remember, big match up there. Taylor and uh, Finley against uh, Styles and uh, Tony Cross. Wildcard tag team match with a lot of stipulations. Plus, Draven Kais against Matthew James. And much more. Take care, everybody.